Hey, it's Chuck. You're back with Milton Daily Homes, and uh, today is a real interesting day. There's some some sort of misinformation, and there's all kinds of you know good overpriced listings and all the rest. So it's a fun day. Let's get right to it. First one up is Van Fleet. It's at three twenty four nine. It's a three bedroom, two washroom. And when I look at the measurements on this one, the one that gives it away is the living dining is bolt twenty two by ten. It's a Bolton model. It's twelve seventy five square feet townhome, uh, living dining in the back, and then you've got a kitchen with an eat in on this side here. And it's uh, they've done some upgrades here, but there's one on Hasselfeld for three thirteen. There's another one at three sixteen. At three twenty four nine, these guys are getting their butts kicked even without pictures There's a lot of homes on this list without pictures Kennedy is the next one and they've loaded photos for this one here too so well they've loaded one photo there's the back deck uh, three bedroom three washroom laundry on the upstairs you've got hardwood floors composite deck a neat thing in here is they've done the tankless hot water heater insulated the attic really brought this home up to I don't know if it's now energy star rated or not but I bet you the the bills would have gone down somewhere in the neighborhood of 10 to 30 40 percent depending on what they did so the uh it's it, i've always found that kennedy's circle doesn't take a hit for where it is i find it's not a great place to be because you've got the the plaza right here you've got um metro you've got uh portalia starbucks maybe starbucks is the reason why it's not going down in value i don't know but i'm just saying commercial is basically what you see from your front yard um, which in my eyes is never ideal. I've never had a client buy on Kennedy. Uh, McNair Circle is at 364.5. I loves me this model, okay? Longmore model, great, unbelievable 1,600 square feet Mattaby home in the award winning Hawthorne Village School District. And um, the hardwood is more of a honey color. I find most buyers these days are, are looking more towards a darker color hardwood floor, but it's still a great model. There's the, the family room. You've got a kitchen with a breakfast bar. The three bedrooms upstairs all are big enough for like teenage kids. The master's a good size. It's just put together the deck here. I like this one. There's some real mega competition now, especially in, with semis in the sort of 350 to 370 range. Um, you know, I just saw a junker over on Wix and Soul on the weekend uh, in multiple offers, and it was in the 350s it was listed for, but I didn't think it was any good. So I don't know. This one, I mean, it's not as big as some of its competition, but it's got some good, good features there. I like it. Okay, so Holly's next one at 379, and it's a, a townhouse, three-story with the double garage in the back, and that's a lot higher than most of these townhomes list for. It's quite nice inside. Hardwood floors, the kitchen's beautiful, granite countertops, uh, extra pantry, all the rest of it. No backyard, that's what you get. That's your backyard above the garage. Um, 379 I think it's definitely they're they're shooting for a price that that's uh, quite high for these townhomes I don't know if they'll get it or not so Tietzel's the next one at 389 three bedrooms semi-detached now the big feature on this one is a 45 foot lot um, that's big that's that's bigger than a lot of the Mattamy homes like the detached 2,000 square feet homes. The problem is the three bedrooms really going to kill them. They're under 2,000 square feet and it depends. The home doesn't have any hardwood. I, my, my personal experience, this is strictly just sort of what I'm seeing. If a semi is awesome and it's got a great lot, they both, it's like rocket fuel for both of them. If the, if the semi is just okay and it's on a premium lot, because mo like the, people will pay money in the five, six, seven hundred thousand dollar range for a, a, a great lot, not so much in the lower price ranges. So if it's an average home on a good lot, we find that there's not that much change in value. Interesting effect. Now, the uh, I think the big thing with that one, it's the three bedrooms are really going to hold them back. Now we look at one on Sove, and so now we're talking about a 45-foot townhome, and so I assume it's an end unit because it's probably not 40 feet long and then attached on both sides. 100 feet deep, an extra 15 feet, which makes a big difference. It's a four-bedroom. It's 2,100 square feet. No pictures yet. This one has more of a chance of selling than even the semi-detached for 10000 less because I think it's loaded with the kind of features that people look for. This would be the kind of home that would sway someone's decision away from a detached home, which there are options definitely in the high 300s. You know, Donnelly is at 469, 
three-bedroom, four-washroom, including a bathroom with a shower down in the basement, which is partly finished. It's a 31-foot lot with a double-car garage. So double-car garage, 20 feet, couple feet on either side. And so your hallway is just basically through the home. You don't actually get anywhere until you're past the garage. Um, you know, this one's less than 2,000 square feet. They've done some nice things here, granite countertops, hardwood floors. I like to see that stuff. It's not in a perfect location. It's on the south side of Donnelly, which means it backs onto Louis St. Laurent here, James Snow, Trudeau, just to get your bearings. Uh, basically the southeast tip of Milton. And I don't know. I mean, I think Louis St. Laurent is not going to be a, a real great street to back on as the town starts to or continues to build. However, I think there's some good features with this one here, too. And it's nice to have that extra finished basement. At 469 Devil Garage, it's probably going to get some eyeballs. If it's good, they have a chance. Scott is at 499. It's a four bedroom, three washroom, and 65 by 110 premium inverted pie lot. Okay, so we've got one more of these on the list, too. What that means, the frontage is 65. It's going to come in in the backyard. Now, it could be 60 feet in the back and not really be much of an inverted. It could be like 25 feet, in which case it's like a trapezoid, and it's not. If you're going to get width, you don't want it in your front yard, you want it in the backyard. So, um, I don't know, interesting one, hardwood floors, stainless steel appliances, Corian countertops, about 40,000 in upgrades. Um, Scott's not my favorite street for people to live on. Um, this home, based on the room sizes, is probably somewhere in the sort of 21, 2200 square feet range. Um, nice upgrades, perhaps a nice lot, but I think that... Um, you know, it's not blowing me away. I'd probably take that one on Donnelly before this one, just without seeing the pictures, of course. So Pettit is at 539, four bedroom, one washroom. It's about a 2,600 square foot home, 41 by 85 foot lot. Not bad, kind of standard for a corner. Uh, possession is September 20th, 2010. So that, I don't know if they figured that was the date of entry. That was yesterday. So they're looking for someone to buy it yesterday. <laughs> as silly as that sounds. Um, Beaver Hall home. I don't know, you know, no hardwood in here. I think at 540, you really got to bring the goods if you're only 2,600 square feet. Now, Weston is at 584.9. Big competition in this range. You've got Wet Lawfer, you've got Gooch, you've got Norris. There's some really hot picks in here. This one I've seen in person. It actually isn't as good in person as it looks in the pictures. Uh, there is five bedrooms. Up, there are five bedrooms upstairs. Um, you know, it's okay. It doesn't blow you away. And I believe the backyard, if I remember correctly, comes in a little bit more. So this would be one of those inverse reverse pies uh, that's wider in the front, a little bit narrower in the back. Without the fence, I find it really, you know, you can see a lot of the homes around. If they put fencing up, it would be a good investment for the sale of this home. Uh, the frontage looks beautiful and the street is pretty nice too. I just don't know if they're uh, if they're bringing the heat like the other ones in the range. Now Simon six forty nine four bedroom four washroom fifty seven by one hundred forty five in the back. So another inverse. Got three of them today. Um, the four bedroom four washroom finished basement. When you look at the description, it says premium corner lot with over thirty six hundred square feet in covered area. I don't know what that means. I, I'm not sure if it means 3,600 square feet of total living space. When I look at the bedrooms, I'm not seeing enormous bedrooms. I'm seeing good size rooms, but that's what I'm, I'm sort of led to believe is that maybe the home is 24, 2,500 square feet, and then they've finished the basement there too. The builder has finished some of these basements. They do a great job, and I think uh, Conservatory Group is building some really nice homes well constructed. I just had a home inspection on one and it went really, really well. So I, I like it. I like that one. At 649, I think they're a bit out to lunch though, to be honest. Mara Circle is the last one at 699. It's a Tothberg. It's 3331 square feet. Mara is a very nice street. And inside, eh, it's okay. You know, there's nothing mind blowing. The counters are kind of plain. The cabinets are plain. Uh, carpet throughout, uh, except for that front living dining room there. It's got a great layout. It's a beautiful home. The big feature here is the pool. Now that probably cost them 40, 50 grand to put that pool in. 
number one, we're at the end of pool season. So it's like, it's not really, people don't see it the same way as if it was May or June. And the other thing is when you put that much money in any landscaping, whether you're putting trees or pools or anything, the average return on it is somewhere around 25%. If you go to the Appraisal Institute of Canada, you can actually, on their website, they've got a tool that tells you the re average return. And so with something like this, they're probably not even going to get half of their money back for what they spent for the pool. Um, at the 700 range, you really got to bring the goods. And usually that's in the form of a premium lot. In this case, it's obviously the pool, but I don't think the home justifies pushing it right up to that number. I think we're going to see this one three, four, or five, six weeks from now, uh, adjusting their price to sort of be more realistic. So that's our list for today, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you later. Bye for now.